welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Alyssa Marie. Just in case you're new, super special welcome to you. I'm so glad that you're here. So I realized as much wash and go videos as I have on my channel, I have never actually dedicated one video solely to just talking about wash and go styling techniques, wash and go products, and just getting really, really in depth about basically how I get my wash and goes to be the bomb.com every time. Not only just the styling aspect and the styling techniques, but also like how I lay my hair to make sure that it dries good, that it doesn't dry flat and like crazy. Like we are getting in depth all about how you're basically gonna get your wash and goes from meh to like bomb.com. This video is sponsored by Curlsmith, so we will be using a head full of Curlsmith, but I mean, that would be the reason why the results are kind of just popping. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got these results like in depth and actually seeing how you can achieve them yourself, then just keep watching because this is about to be amazing. All right, we are styling right from the shower today. This is literally where I get my best wash and goes ever. So that's already one tip hot off the press for y'all. Wash and styling while you were in the shower. You'll find out in a minute though exactly like why it's like major key. But first, let's talk about wash and go styling products. You always want to make sure you're choosing the right products. Like your products could really kind of make or break <laughs> your wash and go. Make sure you're kind of considering beforehand exactly what products you want to use and you kind of want to make sure that you're using at least one moisture product and one hold product. Curls need moisture. I mean, that's a given. If you're not going to kind of leave some of your regular rinse out conditioner in your hair, then you're definitely gonna need to opt for either a curl cream or some kind of leave-in conditioner. And then for hold, you definitely, definitely, like when it comes to a wash and go, you need a whole product. Gel is gonna give you your strongest type of hold as opposed to like a mousse or foam. I tend to like to mix the two, which you guys will see in a minute. But yeah, on a basic level, you need one moisture product at least and one hold product at least as well. And that is going to start you off on the right foot. I'm gonna be styling with a couple of my Curlsmith favorites. So first, we have the Hold Me Softly Style Bomb. So this is going to be the moisture product, the leave-in conditioner. It is like, it's so good, juicy. I mean, y'all already know how I feel about Curlsmith already. Then I'm also going to use a foam. Lately, I've really been loving mixing a really nice, like lightweight foam with a gel, it just, the foam I feel like kind of encourages a little bit of additional volume and it also helps to keep your curls like nice and wet and like it preps it perfectly for a really nice gel. So I love this foam. It is a foam with protein inside of it so I make sure like there's no other protein that showed up in my wash day today. This is literally gonna be the only other protein product so that I don't like overdo it with protein or anything. So yeah, this is the foam product. So one of the hold products that I'm using. And then to top it off, I'm going in with the In Shower Style Fixer. Level 10 hold, this thing is bomb. And it just, I just love the way it just mixes together with the foam. I mean, these two just, all three of them actually, they just work really, really well together. And I'm about to show y'all. So that's step one, choose the right products and make sure you're using products that kind of all mesh well and work well together. All right, so right now I just have a rinse out conditioner in my hair. I didn't rinse it out yet because I knew I was gonna talk to you guys first. So let's go ahead and rinse it out so we can jump straight into styling. We're literally gonna get so in depth in the technique and process. Let's go, I'm excited. All right, so all good. I didn't 100% like wash it out. I would say there's probably about like 10% left of product in there. That's just one of those things I really, really like to do just to give my hair a little bit of added moisture. So the first thing that we gotta do is section our hair. Curly girls got thick hair, period. Okay, we have a lot of hair, and so in order to make sure the product gets to every single hair, you gotta section out, all right? All right, so I usually end up doing about three sections. I do this bottom half, and then I usually split this top half into two sections, and then just kind of style it that way. The thicker your hair is, is the more sections you're actually gonna want to do. So just kind of like do a little bit of trial and error, figure out what's best for your curls. Sometimes if I do sections too small for my hair, it gets too much product. Like I overdo it with the product, it becomes a little stiff and we don't want that. So I've just found like for me personally, the three kind of sections work perfectly. All right, so what I'm gonna do next now that we have our hair sectioned out, I'm going to re-wet this under the shower again. That is probably the most important tip I have for you in this entire video. Doing your hair while it is soaking wet is going to give you all the definition that you've ever wanted, all the moisture that you've ever wanted. Like it's going to make your wash and goes 
change forever, okay? This is how you're gonna get your hair goals. This is my little secret. It's, it's not even a secret, I tell you guys this all the time. It's also important to make sure your roots are getting wet as well. Don't just like wet the ends and call it a day. Like the roots gotta be nice and soaking wet as well. A lot of you guys are always asking me like, how do I get my roots so defined? And this is it, they're wet. When they're wet, they're nice and curly, and then we slap the product on top and it kind of freezes it in that kind of state. You know what I mean? It just makes sense. Wetter is better, just think about it like that. So like, this is what I'm talking about. When I say dripping wet, I'm not kidding. It's not like a figure of speech, no. Like your hair needs to be this level of wet. Honestly, this is really, this is just really what works for me, okay? So I'm sharing this because I really think it'll work for a lot of you as well. So first, let's go in with our Hold Me Softly Style Balm, the moisture product. You wanna make sure that you are kind of just combing this through. This is also another tip, something that I swear by, is styling with my fingers. I've used a couple brushes for styling. I see so many curly girls get incredible results from brushes, but just for me, at least, and for my hair type, the brushes are great and all, but when I use them on a consistent basis, I notice I start to have issues with my curls. So, the way I get my best results ever, 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 is by styling with my fingers. And that just means like taking the time to actually comb the product through. When you know that you've combed the product through enough is when your curls actually feel really smooth, kind of like this, and the product is literally just gliding right through. If you're combing the product through and you're still hitting lots of knots and tangles and it's not feeling great, just keep going. Literally keep combing over the same spot until it starts to smooth out and that's how you know it's good to go and you're ready to move on to the next styling product. Also a major key, just really having the patience to make sure your curls are really nice and smoothed out, the product is evenly distributed. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and wet this just a little bit more. Perfect. Like I'm telling y'all, soaking wet, soaking wet. All right, so next we are gonna go in with our foam. The main reason why I like a good foam is because it just, it adds to the wetness of your curls, really. Like that's honestly one of the main reasons. And again, like I said, it helps to encourage a little bit of additional volume. Funny enough, I also noticed that when I use foam, I feel like my hair dries a lot quicker. Lots of benefits to using foam. Again, you wanna make sure that you are hitting these roots. You can see here, the definition is already starting from the root going down. If you are styling your wash and go and the roots are already frizzy from then, you're not gonna have defined roots. So make sure again that they're wet, you're getting the product there, and you're just being patient and making sure that all the product is really actually like smoothing through your curls from root to tip. All right, and then we just go ahead and top it all off with some gel. So with gels, I like to emulsify them, kind of work them through my hands a little bit. I like to think of this as kind of like activating the product, I guess. It's not scientifically doing anything, but I think it just like really helps to like prep the consistency and get it ready for just going into the curls. So again, I'm gonna start by applying it here, and then I'm gonna take it down to the length of my hair. I also love, like for gel specifically, to use the prayer hands method. This really helps to kind of smooth the product in. Whew, I can already feel the definition happening. The hold, usually for a really good hold product, as soon as you put it in your curls, you can feel the curls start to go like, <laughs> like they are getting in formation and they are ready. So here we go. Here is how we're looking. Smooth, defined. Our roots are not frizzy. They are also super smooth and defined. I also like to scrunch a little bit. This, you hear this squishy noise? If you don't hear that when you scrunch your hair, that means it was not wet enough. So add more water. You can add more water in between any of these steps, in between moisture and whole product, after the whole product, and then add more whole product. Like water is gonna be your best friend. And if you feel like you're not getting the results that you want, you most likely need to wet your hair some more. So literally doing the same thing. You guys can see, look at how quickly my hair dries. It's crazy. So I gotta go back under the shower and re-wet. Oh, did I mention when you're re-wetting your hair, try to do it on cool to like cold water. It's going to help to make sure that there's not as much frizz. I don't know, I just feel like hot water can kind of just 
I don't know, just make your hair a little bit more frizzy. So these two are always slightly bigger sections, so I try to make sure to take my time and make sure that the product is hitting everywhere. Also, don't neglect the front of your hair. I always kind of make sure that I'm lifting this part up and like pressing products into these roots too because nobody wants frizzy roots in the front. All right, that's like a big no-no. Quite a lot of leave-in conditioner here, y'all, but that's fine. I am gonna wet it a little bit to kind of like rinse it out slightly. Time for the foam. Really love to focus my foam right here. I always talk about this. Struggle patch I have in the middle here, so I always place extra product there, especially when it comes to my whole products because that patch is unruly, okay? It has a mind of its own. One thing with foam, like don't be alarmed if your hair looks like this. I can tell you at least the foams that I use and the foams that I always suggest for you guys, I never have an issue with flaking or like a white cast or anything like that. So you don't, don't stress if your hair looks like this, don't freak out, like it's just, it's just fine. The foam literally like just, it goes away. It evaporates or gets soaked into the hair or something. I just know by the time it's dry, it's like gone. You don't have to worry about it. Yes, I know y'all can see this curled up on the sun, honey. Quick root check, okay? They are defined, they are laid, and yes, under control. This is what we need. All right, let's get into this last section. I think one of the main things when it comes to washing and styling is not being lazy. I've noticed, I mean, we all have those days when we just don't have time, we don't feel like washing, so we get a little lazy, we do less sections or no sections, like, but I can always tell the difference, like when I'm being lazy. So really, you know, if you're really, really wanting to work on your wash and goes and really, really wanting to make them look good, you know, it's gonna take a little bit of patience, a little bit of extra time, but in the end, it's, it's, it is worth it, beyond worth it. All right, so the next thing I do is very important because we have, I have my hair like divided into these funny sections and it looks a little crazy. So I like to just kind of shake it around and like comb it back so that there's no like weird flat part in the middle. So we're just combing it on back. And right here, I always do like a really special like woo, wet check right here in the front. Sometimes like my roots right here can like dry really fast. So I always do a little check here. And I always usually just apply a little bit of additional gel just in that area. Because the gel was already applied in sections, but I wanna make sure that it's kind of applied over top too. Prayer hands, at this stage, once you have like all the whole products already in your hair, try not to comb it through anymore because that can kind of disrupt the curl clumps that are already going on. So from here on out, I usually just scrunch and do prayer hands. Also another important part is flipping your hair upside down. I do little shaky stuff and then we scrunch. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear the moisture? The hydration. So when I'm squishing, actually, let me let me let me show y'all. I'm squishing, but look, my palm, like I'm squishing all the way to the top of my roots. So again, this is gonna help to get you definition in your roots. So we are squishing, and this is also helping to kind of make sure the product is really getting like squished into your hair. It's always important that once you feel like you're done now. <laughs> Make sure you just check before you actually decide that you're done. Is there a frizzy area that I may have missed? Is there a spot that, you know, is like clumping with products? You just wanna make sure that you're kind of double checking and making sure that it all just looks really good. I feel like I want a little bit of just additional holes on my ends. So, I'm gonna emulse the bye. And then again, just flip my hair over and literally just scrunch that extra gel into my ends. I also don't like for my hair to dry like super like slicked back and like flat. So by turning my hair upside down and like scrunching that way, it helps to loosen it up. And then I kind of shake it back like this and 
kind of pull it up almost so that it's not like drying stuck to my head. This is how I get a little bit of volume at the top. So this is basically how I would dry except one more thing. So I like to make sure that these here are kind of pushed back a little bit and then laying on the side like that. Yes, honey. This is what I like to do. So again, push it back, hold it at the root and then allow it to fall forward because it's gonna fall forward naturally. But this is kind of how I encourage my hair to kind of dry upwards and then down as opposed to letting it just dry down. Then we'll have like zero volume at the roots and it will just end up looking a little flat and a little bit like kind of weird. I just leave it just like this, just like this and I let it dry on its own. I like to air dry so quick thing for drying, I noticed that, okay, my hair, we kept wetting it, we used a lot of products, so right now it is pretty heavy and it's weighing its own self down. So I noticed when I air dry, my hair dries a little bit more stretched. It's one of the easiest ways that I find that my hair actually naturally stretches because it's just, it's already kind of weighed down. So it just dries really slowly, you know, as it air dries and then boom. As opposed to diffusing, you're actually encouraging it to curl up a little bit more. So yeah, I usually like to air dry as much as possible. I know it can be so annoying to just have this soaking wet hair on you, but Honestly, like whenever I just say, you know what, let it air dry, at least for like the first like two hours or so, and then if it's taking too long, then I'll diffuse the rest of the weight. But if I let it initially start to air dry on its own, like I just, I get better curls. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry, and then I will be back to show you guys the final result. Ta-da! Okay, so here we are. It looks really small. It kind of looks like, where's my hair? But this is exactly what you're gonna kind of get with a level 10 hold gel. I also just got a trim, which is why we look kind of so shrunk and like nice and moisturized and healthy, which is great. It just means my hair is like in a really good state. So we're not done yet. There is another product that I really wanna use now because it is level 10 holds. We do have a cast that has dried down, but I don't like crunchy curls. Some people love just straight up definition and that's cool. Right here, you would just leave it and that's it, right? But I like to crunch it out. I like volume. I like for fluffy, big, nice curl definition at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab this. This is actually a new product to me. This is gonna be my first time trying it out. This is the Intense Treatment Serum. There are apparently multiple different ways that you can use this, but I am gonna go ahead and use it to help me crunch out this cast so it's just kind of like a solid Ooh, it's soft though look at that so I'm not using very much literally just put a little 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 bit in the palm of my hand so I'm just gonna rub it rub it on out Ooh, this smells really nice that typical curl smith smell absolutely love it so you can see it leaves like a little bit of an oil on my hands and so that is going to be what's going to help us kind of crunch out the cast and fluff my hair out until we get the desired result. So this is really what I be doing on wash days. This is my first time using this serum. I love how the serum feels so far. It's like lightweight. I did use like barely anything. I'm going to add a little bit more. We're literally just scrunching. Yes, Hershey, how can I help you? Come. Come say hello. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm almost done, okay? I'm almost done. I love the fact that this just smells so good, so it's like not only helping to crunch out the cast, but it is also like leaving a really nice smell in my curls. Oh, I love it. Just gonna fluff it up even more. You know what? A lot of times I also just flip my head over, kind of play with it. This is my favorite part actually. All right, I do think I kind of want to also go for a side swoop today. So I am gonna just kind of swoop them over. 
So let's do a little close up action. My color's kind of popping. I'm loving the new color so far. Like I said in the vlog, it's not the final destination, but I'm loving it so far. Um, but yeah, curls. This is what I would call like the perfect mix between volume and curl definition because you can't deny the curl definition, it's there. And we were able to then pump up the volume with the curl definition still being there, so I just, so yeah, there you have it. Those are basically all of my number one top tips for making sure that your wash and go is gonna come out bomb. I feel like technique is just as important as the products are themselves. So you wanna make sure that you're trying out different techniques and making sure you're finding the right thing for your curls. Hopefully some of my techniques will help y'all. I've heard multiple people say that when they tried making sure that their hair was actually dripping wet, like literally dripping like how I showed you earlier, that it made like a complete difference in their wash and go game. So I'm hoping that y'all will go ahead and give these techniques and products a try because I mean, tried, tested, and true, this is literally what I do to get bomb results every single time. So yeah guys, that is going to be about it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any additional questions for me, just go ahead and comment them down below as usual. And if you did enjoy this, you know what to do. Go ahead and give your girl a little thumbs up. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe so that way you don't miss a new video ever again. We don't want that. We don't need that happening. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.